Hello to all traders and welcome to another video brought to you by Orbex. Today we're looking at oil and gold as gold is significantly falling towards the 1700 handle. Analysts and investors alike are expecting a test in the next coming sessions on this particular uh, handle. And we haven't really seen this since, well, if we look on the chart since August of 2021, and uh, that was a bit of a false spike on that day, as you can see on the chart here. But before that, a confirmation was roughly about March of 2021 as well. So quite a big move in the market there a lot of downside and it is supposedly because of the strong dollar that has been in the markets for the last couple of weeks and conversely oil has actually plummeted past the hundred dollar handle we've had weak demand and we've also had this strong dollar plaguing uh, oil as well China lockdowns are significantly ruining the uh, optimism for this move to the upside as well so it has shed over eight percent in the last few sessions and actually hit ninety six dollars a barrel which was quite significant significant as well so we'll see what happens in the near term as well as we look at possible recession fears as well be looking at that for the last few weeks on the stock watch and market insights videos that we've been looking into but if we look on gold I just want to bring it back to the last time we saw the 1700 handle breach like I said it was looking at like August but this was seemed to be a little bit of a false break we had confirmation at the early end of 2021 around March but since then as you can see uh, this was when the uh, Russia Ukraine uh, conflict did begin but since then we've had this bearish market bearish sentiment a lot of traders were hoping that it would be roughly about two thousand dollars would be hitting in the middle of 2022 but that has obviously not um, not come to light and we've seen another move to the downside so what are we looking at now in the term of where gold is heading next well if we just zoom in to the most important places that we want to look at at the moment with the uh, assistance of the Ichimoku indicator we are in a fully fledged bear market now nothing too much in the way of divergences on the RSI so now for me we'll just be seeing if we can find a possible bounce if we do have a test at 1700 and then start moving higher in that degree uh, back to these fresh highs that we haven't seen well since going into June so over a month away but you know it isn't out of the question that the dollar strength will last uh, for a long long time we've had nfp numbers that supported the dollar recently uh, we've also had the fact that the fed will definitely raise rates again in their meeting at the end of this month so what will that mean for the dollar and obviously these commodities that are following uh, the dollar as well obviously gold is quoted in dollars this is why it is so um in line with what the dollar is doing as well if one goes down the other one goes up and vice versa so let's just look on the four hour chart as well we are now seeing on the four hour chart as i said a uh, fully fledged bear market there's not nothing in the way of optimism for bulls especially uh, because the last time we had uh, a move to the downside uh, as you can see here uh, we are now in a, an a descending channel which can mean that we will probably have another test at the bottom end of it as you can see here a bit of a false break in the near term and then we'll see if we're going to have another test and that 1700 test most importantly very big psychological level that's why a lot of investors are looking at this particular level so keep an eye out as well if you are trading gold uh, and on the other hand we're looking at oil as well <coughs> we can't forget that it is pretty much moving in tandem with uh, gold because of the strong dollar so as you can see here since the height uh, of the invasion with Ukraine we've had a slump and then a progressive move to the upside but now we're having a fully fledged bear market piercing that $100 handle which is roughly I'll just point it out so it's a little bit easy to see roughly about here so uh, as you can see here we have fallen quite a way through that um, we're waiting on the EIA data now uh, to come out and obviously we'll see if OPEC have any questions and answers for the public on what's going to happen with the European um, supply that's going to be stopped from Russia by the end of the year completely and we'll see uh, what happens with uh, not only oil but gas prices as well as we close out uh, Q3 and ob obviously towards the end of the year as well but if we're looking at technicals at the moment for me I'll just be seeing if we can move up back uh, past this $100 psychological level obviously $4 away which isn't really too far away because if you think about it uh, a couple of days ago we went from 103 all the way down to 95 
five dollars so that was an eight seven eight dollar dip so it can happen in one day we just had a couple of slow days now uh, and we are now trading below the ichimoku cloud on both fronts on the daily and on the four hour chart so now as you can see here we are in a fully fledged bear market just put this ascending descending uh, channel in just so that you can see roughly wherever you want to place it roughly about here again we are now seeing a possible move back down to this uh, level roughly of about $92 so if we do hit that then it will most probably keep on uh, going lower uh, we'll just have to cut wait for more fundamental news to come out and that will possibly give us a lift on oil as well so just keep keep an eye on all the fundamentals uh, oil and gold and gas uh, really being affected and we'll see what happens throughout the course of the day and tomorrow as well. So join me again for another video tomorrow uh, where we see the latest in headlines and fundamentals and we'll speak again then. Bye for now.